4G trail cameras keep getting better and better, but they all depend on reliable SIM cards with data plans and good coverage to deliver the promise of their impressive features right to your smartphone. The price of a data plan is one deciding factor, but low price won't do you much good if you don't get good network coverage. When it's time to reload your current SIM card or start with a new SIM card, you should take a look at EIoT Club. EIoT combines price and excellent coverage through a variety of plans. In the U.S. there are double network SIM cards which use AT&T and T-Mobile and triple play network SIM cards which use Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. You save some money with a double network and that may well work fine if you're using a 4G trail camera in an area with good coverage of AT&T and T-Mobile. But I personally need the triple play three networks which includes Verizon to get the best coverage. You simply enter your SIM card number into the web page to register and select plans and track your usage. Or you can use the EIoT app on your smartphone and scan the numbers of your cards in to easily track and manage your cards and select plans. I've had two 4G trail cams out in the backyard for about uh, four or five months. One of them, the TC20, using the EIoT Club uh, SIM card, and the other, the TC14, using a SIM Hero uh, SIM card that uh, came with it that I've been using for a while. And they're both pretty much in the same location. The SIM here on the bottom is running at about a 53% signal, while the EIoT triple play card is running at 79%. That's about a 26% difference in the signal, but generally I've seen on, on average around 30% improvement in the signal. I think the triple play aspect of having three networks and picking the strongest network really makes a difference. My experience so far is that the EIoT club with the triple play delivers consistently stronger signal. I'm in the process of upgrading my two pan, tilt, and zoom security slash trail cameras to the EIoT Club network from the uh, cars that came with it. And I've already upgraded the uh, TC-18, and it was real simple, it just took a few minutes. So I'm going to set the TC-18 over on the deck looking out at the view here. Just cut the top of it off. And what you get is a credit card size card with the uh, SIM card in the middle and this SIM card is uh, compatible with all different kinds of SIM cards. Now most 4G trail cams, including the one that I'm using, uses the smallest size of the SIM card. And we'll go to the TC-17 which we're going to swap out. First thing you want to do with most trail cameras like this, which has a solar panel that powers it and it has an onboard lithium battery, just charge the battery uh, for you know something something on the order of eight to ten hours. Make sure you got a hundred percent charge on the battery before you load it up with a new system, and you have the power off. And this TC17, which is fairly similar to most 4G trail cameras as far as function, you have a place here for a micro SD card, and you always want to put a micro SD card on there because that's your backup. Even though you won't be able to get it on your phone, you'll know that you have the data saved there for posterity. And sometimes that can avoid, you can avoid having to use cloud storage when you do that and just see what data is on your phone. And then this one has a reset switch, which is important for loading a new card. And then the SIM card. This is the old SIM card here. So you very carefully remove the existing SIM card. It usually requires using your fingernail to a little push on it. You can use one of the little tools that come with your, uh, like they come with your smartphone. I generally take them out with tweezers. And you seal it back up, and on this camera, you power it on right there. So while the uh, TC-17 is uh, powering on, you go to your app, and this is the uh, TC-17 that was uh, in this app with the previous uh, SIM card. So what you want to do is you want to go in here and delete that device, because you're going to add it new again with the uh, new SIM card. So we've deleted it now. And in the meantime, the... Uh, TC-17, and in the minute it took me to get the app load and everything, it's connected with the network and we've got a solid blue light. So we're going to go ahead and add this now. Add a device. And we're going to say set up 4G device. Insert the SIM card. Install the camera. Install the antenna. Then power on the device. The blue LED will light up. After about one minute, click next. So we have our blue LED already lit because it's been more than a minute. We go to Scan next. Scan the QR code on the camera to connect to your phone. And every 4G camera comes with a QR code you just scan into the app. And it tells me that it's already been used. So what you want to do is just 
push the reset button here. System reset. And the system resets. So we've reset the system. We got our solid blue light again. So we'll go back to the app and just say next. Scan the QR code on the camera to connect to your phone. And we'll scan, scan it real quick. And it's connecting to the device. Basically, it's binding. Enter the camera name and address. Using default name and address can go to the next step directly. I'm just going to call it the uh, TC17. Camera installed successfully. Fully charged the camera at first use. And it's already fully charged, so there we go. And just that fast, in real time, it was connected to the network. Now I'll move it over next to the other camera. Actually, I'll point it at Mr. Possum here. Yes. We'll point it at Mr. Possum. And there's Mr. Possum. That's how fast it works. Now, this camera is meant to be mounted like that, so that's why Mr. Possum looks upside down. And now I'll go uh, set the camera over on the uh, deck next to the other camera. So here we have the TC18 pan, tilt, and zoom trail camera that I just upgraded with the EIOT SIM card a few minutes ago, and then we have the TC17 that I just upgraded in real time in just a few minutes and have them up on the deck looking out at the view there. And they're working fine. And of course you just uh, click on one. And there's the view in real time. And of course this is where you can interact with it and of course that's what you need the good data plan to be able to take advantage of all the powerful uh, features that these cameras have. And the TC-18. And they're both showing reliably uh, three to four bars. Signal is fine. Traditional 4G cameras like these two that don't have all the capabilities of the pan, tilt, and zoom, which also have the higher resolution, you can zoom in and out. But now the pan, tilt, and zoom cameras will, if you interact with them a lot and get a lot of high quality data, will use up you know a lot of data. So that's what's nice about having the EIOT club with a variety of choices as far as plans for your data needs. So in summary, I've been quite happy with the EIOT club SIM cards and data plans for my remote 4G trail cameras. They're easy to install and you can get your camera up and running in about three or four minutes. I use the triple play SIM card for the best reliable network coverage. If your cameras are in an area with great coverage, you may well get by with the more affordable double network plans. I'm using my pan, tilt, and zoom live view trail cameras for wildlife and security, so I like the 24 gigabyte 360 day plan for them. But check out all the plans on the EIOT website for ones that may suit your needs. And if you need to recharge or change your plan once the data is used up, it's easy to do online and it takes place immediately.